Hey everyone and welcome to a Dropified video training tutorial. In this video we're going to be figuring out how to get started as fast as possible with Dropified. So in this video what we're going to cover is adding your store to Dropified, installing the Dropified extension in Chrome, adding products via AliExpress, and adding products from other stores that we support dropshipping with. In addition we'll be covering boards and a little bit of looking at our training videos. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you get started with Dropified is adding your store. So what we'll do is, after logging in from Dropified, we'll go to this button that says Add Store. Now in my case, my store is from Shopify, so I'm going to select the Shopify button, make sure it's checked, and press Continue. Now it's going to ask me for my store's URL. So what I'm going to do is, I go to Shopify right here, and I'm looking for this specific URL. In my case, the biggest easy is the name of my store. You can see it right here. And so what I'm going to do is select this URL from here, the name of my store, .myshopify.com. And I'm going to copy and paste back right here. Press Add Store. And it might take a second. So now it's going to send us back to Shopify to confirm the fact that we are linking our store. Press install app at the bottom. Might take a second. And there we go. Your store, the biggest easy, has been added. As you can see, you can click on it right here. You can see save products, connected products, all your boards. We'll get into that in just a sec. So now what we need to do to get started actually saving and migrating products over to our store is installing the Chrome extension. We've made it really easy to do, so you go back to the home page of Dropified, scroll down right here where it says install Chrome extension, you click the button right here, press add to Chrome, confirm it by pressing add extension, and there you go. As you can see, it's right here. I'm going to move it over here just for the sake of efficiency. But now you can see that the Chrome extension is up and working. So now how do we use it? What I'm going to do is go back to Dropify just to... You can start adding products with a few different ways. So one way to figure out where you can actually import products from is to go to Import Products in the left menu. You can see our full automation suppliers right here. I'm going to start by showing you AliExpress, but we also support drop shipping from all of these different stores. It's a pretty extensive list. But we're going to get started by showing you AliExpress. So I've opened up AliExpress over here. And just for the sake of showing you, I'm going to look up fountain pens because I do a lot of writing in notebooks. So as you can see, there's plenty of different products. Now it just comes from finding which one you actually want to add to your store. So in my case, I found one right here, a nice silver pen. And I can do this with a variety of ways. So the fastest way to add products to your saved list is to just press the Dropify button. And as you can see, the product has been successfully saved back in Dropify. So I'm going to show you that now. So if you go back to Dropify, you can look at your saved products by clicking it in the left side menu. And there's our pen. So from here you can add it to a board, you can view it and edit the title, price, compared price, all of the colors you offer, everything like that. Even the product photos. And then you can send it to your store. You can save it for later if you still want to add stuff to it or delete stuff. But that's pretty much saving. What you can also do is, if you know what you want to edit, instead of clicking the Save button, you can go into the product, you can click the extension, and you can edit all of those things right from the extension and send it directly to your store. So what do you do if you want to import a product that isn't from AliExpress or eBay? You can go down to one of our many supported sites. In this case, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go to FastTech. Now looking at all of these products, we can figure out what we want to add. In our case, I want to look at 
hobbies and toys, LED toys, because lights are interesting. So we can find something like this. You click on the product, go up to the extension, just like you did in AliExpress, and it will scrape all of the data from the page, the price, the title, into the extension, and from there you can send it directly to your store, or you can save it for later, just like before. So now we can view it in Dropify, and all of this data has transferred over. So I'm going to press save for later, and as you can see, it is back in our saved products. Just like that, you're already importing products. So now what do you want to do if you're importing a bunch of different items into your store and you want to organize them? Well, we have this feature called boards, which essentially lets you categorize the different items that you have in your store. So what I'm going to do is go to add board, and I'm going to call this toys. So now I'm going to go back to AliExpress. So here, as you can see, we found a bunch of different toys. Let's save this, saved, save this, save a slinky, because everyone needs a slinky. And what we can do is we can go back to our saved products, and we can go and categorize them by clicking the board button, toys, toys, toys. So if you click boards on the left hand side of the menu, you can see that under toys we have three products saved. From here we can actually edit, empty, or delete the board entirely. So under edit you can add product title, you can add tags, types, whatever you choose for organization. If you click on toys you can see that it's the three toys we added from before. Now they're categorized and we can edit them how we please in one simple place. So that's boards. You can use it to categorize and organize in a variety of ways. So now going back to the home screen, the last thing I want to show you is our training modules down here. We are currently in the process of revamping all of these videos, but until then, these are full of great information that will help you use Dropify, as well as hopefully answer any questions you have about the service. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you're a little bit more versed in how to use Dropify, and how to get started using our service. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.